You ready, Houston? Uh -huh. All right. Well, hey guys, it's Daniel, Arms Family Homestead. Hey, just wanted to give you a quick update on what we got going on. Um, the high tunnel's moving a little bit slow. Uh, got a call yesterday from the guy that's building all the materials for me, putting everything together. He got all those materials in so mm -hmm. he can finish building or finish bending the bows. He ran out of material for those. And it's been raining here off and on for a few days, so we really hadn't been able to do any much outside. But uh, Houston and I are inside the kitchen today. A while back, I started, said I made a little video a while back saying we were going to think about starting a new series about some homemade products, cleaning products, um, laundry soap, hand soap, dish soap, things like that. So Houston and I are in the kitchen today, and we're going to make up a quick batch of um, dishwashing detergent, just a powdered dishwashing detergent, aren't we? Yes. Man, this stuff's super simple. I looked at so many recipes, so many different ways of making this stuff on Pinterest and online and things, and everybody's got their own opinion and own ways of doing it. We're just gonna start with a simple powdered uh, dishwashing detergent. Some people uh, are 100% against the use of borax, and some people say it's 100% safe. So uh, you guys can make your own decision there. The recipe I'm going with is gonna use borax, but it's got several other ingredients. So super simple. Well, we'll get started, guys. You ready, Houston? Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, Houston, you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's what we got. Everything that we've got to make this dish soap, you can buy at your local grocery store and your laundry cleaning section. Uh, Mule Team 20 Borax. Hey, quit doing that. Arm & Hammer Washing Soda. It's a little different than baking soda. It's actually washing soda. Okay. And then we have just regular old run-the-mill baking soda. Hey, stop that. Lemmy Fresh. This stuff is a probably about, I don't know, I'd say probably the most pricey ingredient. But this is a, it removes tough film and spots. So for hard water, this is a good product to add into it. Yeah. And then last, kosher salt. So we've got a total of five ingredients. Okay. All right, Houston. You ready? Take these bowls and mix them into this one bowl right here. Okay. Pour those bowls into there. Woo! Man! Okay, so that's half a cup of baking powder. I'm sorry, baking soda. Half a cup of baking soda. One cup of borax. Okay. And one cup of washing soda. Okay. That part's super simple. One cup of borax, one cup of washing soda, half a cup of baking soda, okay? Hold this, Houston. Okay. And we're gonna add a third cup each of the lemon fresh. So give it a good lemon scent, but it's also a good hard water spot remover. So pour that in there. And then we're gonna add one quarter, I'm sorry, one third cup of kosher salt. There you go. So you just mix all five ingredients. Oh. Well, then you do like Houston and dump it all over the bar. <laughs> mix it up, Houston. That's all right. Mix it up. Dad, we need sugar in No, we're not adding sugar. Yeah. Easy. Oh, you Easy. Know. No, I'm going to clean up your mess. Can I put that back in the bowl? Mm, yes. Yes? Okay. Let me clean up your mess here a little bit. So I said five ingredients. I'll put the recipe at the bottom. Super simple. And guys, I, you know, there's not a whole lot to it. Mix them all thoroughly. I'm going to put all this in a mason jar. And then you add one to two tablespoons per load when you're washing your dishes. This is my first time. I've never tried this before. So we'll see how it turns out. I'll keep you updated. Super simple. You know, I mean, obviously it's not anything difficult. I got my three-year-old in here. Hey, let him make a mess, but he's in here helping me, so... Um, guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Try it out. See what, see how it works for you. Easy. Let me know what your opinions are on the borax. Borax, yes or no? I don't know. I, from what research I've done, I don't think it's that bad. Some people will not use it, though. Hey, stay out of that. And then one other thing I noticed on a lot of the, a lot of the uh, Pinterest ideas was a lot of people, instead of using the high dollar rinse aid that comes in a bottle about this big, They'll use plain vinegar. They'll just pour vinegar into where the rinse aid thing goes. And uh, that one's kind of up in the air too. I'm not sure. What do you guys, any of you tried that? Some people say it's bad for your uh, 
internal mechanisms of your washing machine and some say it works great so I don't know let me know what you think guys thanks for watching let me know if you like this video we'll continue to make a few more of these got some laundry soap hand soap type ideas so y'all have a great day thanks for watching